Good morning, everybody. This is Michelle with Mickey News Creations, and today I'd like to share a journal that I made using Dreams Etc. Uh, collaged Rose Digital Kit. Um, my uh, journal measures six by seven and a half with a one and a half inch spine. There's two signatures. Um, I don't know exactly how many pages are in it, but I will um, put that information in the description box. What I did for the cover is, um, the book itself is a um, cardboard and I covered it with denim on the outside and on the inside I used a canvas. Um, there are silver corner ends and then I covered it, the spine, with a pink doily and then two white doilies on top. And then the rosettes. These are not the large kind, but not the real small. I think they're the second smallest. And they're all, it's all together. So it's every other um, flower is a different pink. So I thought that was kind of pretty. I have three different kinds of colored cheesecloth. I have coffee stained cheesecloth, uh, light blue, and then, um, um, actually, I'm sorry, it's just two. I thought I had um, backed it with some pink as well, but it's just the blue that I got at Hobby Lobby and then the coffee stained. And she is an adorable image that I printed off of Pinterest. And I cut her out using uh, Frisker scissors, um, different. Uh, I think the particular ones is, this just says Paper Edge. I don't know the brand name. But anyways, Frisker Scissors. Um, so, again, there's two signatures. I don't know exactly how many pages, um, but I can uh, put that in the description box. So, on the inside, like I said, I did um, canvas. And then here is... Um, the spine on the inside I used it's by uh, Mind's Eye the paper let me go in so it's, she's kind of chunky so I have that um, and I used a Martha Stewart die punch or border punch and um, Maj paused it um, so what I have here is, this is part of the ephemera, follow your heart. I cut that out on a cardstock or printed it out on cardstock. And this is a little flower box that I got the idea from Jai Care, I think is the pronounce, pronunciation of her last name, K-E-R-R. -R. Uh, she is just so talented. I will put her information in the description box, but um, I made some little flowers, and then I made the box out of just corrugated cardstock, and then I layered it with pink, blue, and coffee stained cheesecloth, and I made the little bows, and then put some pink ribbon, and then two different color kind of. Uh, flowers it's actually ribbon and then I put a flat back pearl I uh, went ahead and sewed the signatures so I printed out the signatures and then I sewed them back to back and um, I thought that was really pretty so I have I alternated white ribbon and then ivory ribbon 
So here is a little tuck spot and I went ahead and sewed that. You can see. And then here is um, a dress form that I cut out, a little tag. And then here's part of the ephemera, believe. And backed it again with coffee stained cheesecloth and pink cheesecloth. And put two different kinds of ribbon to make the bows. And then here is the uh, flat, not flat, it's the little paper flowers. And um, you can get those, I think I ordered those off of eBay. I'm not too sure. And then some of them have little stones on them. Some of them don't. But. And then just various paper. And then another little tag with the flower and blue ribbon. And then here is a um, little heart here. And this also is something that Jai made. And I thought that was really cute so it's two different size hearts and I layered and I made a little tuck spot and then I layered with some blue cheesecloth and then two different types of flowers and those flowers are Prima a variety of different flowers in there And then there's some coffee stain paper in here as well. And here is another tag from the ephemera. And I um, have some pink leaves. And then I rotated every other flower, green, white. And then here is another one of the hearts for a tuck spot. And then I cut part of a doily and put that there and then not that there I put the part of the doily on top of the cheesecloth and then layered the heart or the flower on top and then here is another little tag and it's so cute um, it's again it's two different types or two different size hearts and then I have some little wire there holding it together. And then there is a little pink bling. And you just tuck it on. And you can put other things underneath there depending on how tight you make it. But I liked it just as a decorative. And again, uh, Jai does a... God, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Um, she does wonderful tutorials, tutorials on her website and or her YouTube channel. And um, go check her out if you haven't. So anyway, so this page is sewn. And this one has the ivory ribbon. And here is... I went ahead and made the envelope smaller and I sewed it and I have it held with a little paper clip like that and then here is um, a pocket used or made out of old book page and um, this is one of Patricia's little pockets and then I have um, a scallop circle and then a heart on top of that with a different color rosette flower and it's um, backed with pink and coffee stained cheesecloth and then a little postcard tag. Well, it's not. She's a. It's a dress, and I want to say Sue Olson's shop, but I'm not sure exactly. Um, I will 
put that information in the description box. And then a paperclip banner that I made. And what I did is um, used book page. And then part of the kit, I went ahead and layered the, the banner, the book page on that. And then I have cheesecloth. And then there is a heart, little lace heart. And I layered, it is um, light blue corrugated. And then cheesecloth underneath that and ribbon. And then I put the word journal and three different little flowers. And then sewed two different kinds of paper. And then ledger. And then here is another little pocket that I made out of book page. Little tag. And then a doily, little small doily and then I put a rosette flower on top and then here is a butterfly um, with blue and pink cheesecloth um, and I believe the butterfly is a Martha Stewart punch and then here is another little velvet flower with a flat back bling and coffee stained cheesecloth behind it and then over here is part this one's not part it's a little glassine envelope I made it into a little tuck spot and a little pink ribbon and then a flat back pearl two uh, book page hearts with co coffee stained cheesecloth and um, follow your heart part of the ephemera and then here is another page sewn sorry to get out of frame and uh, with white ribbon and then here is another envelope this one is with a pink arrow paper clip and again i sewed the envelope and <laughs> My book is slip sliding away. And then part of the kit. And then here is the normal size envelope. And then another little pocket and a couple I think these are these little tags come from a Tim Holtz uh, die but I'm not sure I will double check and then here it is it's part of a stamp I thought that was kind of pretty and I made a little tag out of it and then here is Part of the ribbon I made into a pocket and another little uh, pouch this is a glassine bag coffee stained and made the tag and I have pink ribbon blue ribbon and um, ivory or not ivory yeah I guess it's ivory I think this is the dollar um, dollar tree or dollar store excuse me ribbon and then another flower with a pink flat back pearl and then be happy we have a heart and then a flower part of the ephemera one two three smile with blue cheesecloth so definitely a shabby chic uh journal and then here is a tag I made and this paper came from Joann's it, you can get it in a roll and it's like you can uh, almost looks like wrapping paper but it's not I don't think and then we have another little glassine envelope or bag and then 
coffee stained cheesecloth. Here is a little doily and then a heart and a bird. And then again, coffee stained paper that I cut down. And then here is, this is a Spellbinders die. I have a little, made a little envelope out of it. Not an envelope, a little pouch. It's early. And then here is a couple tags. Pink ribbon, flower, pink pearl, green, and then two different color ribbons, green and yellow. And then again, sewn. Okay, then the second signature. Part of the ephemera, and then just a little tuck that. And then another dress form I made into a tuck spot and then a tag and then a little ephemera smile and then another little ticket part of the ephemera and then this is craft cardstock love with cheesecloth in the back and then just a little tag and um, then I used part of the ephemera tag as a, a tuck spot and then here is a little piece of ephemera and I made a paper clip out of it and then create and I think this one I th think you can tuck I don't know if I left it yep there's a little you can tuck something underneath there and so there is some room you know fairly good amount of room for writing if you wanted to write in it and this is a library pocket, and I um, put in a tag, a couple different kinds of ribbon, and then here is a window, and behind the window is a bird, so it's like the bird's kind of flying through the window, but of course the window is open, and there is some blue cheesecloth and coffee stained cheesecloth. And then here's another a smaller paper clip, um, kind of like a little banner, I guess, it's, or a tag, not a tag, but a, uh, not even a flag. It's, I had some part of the page left and I just cut it, folded it in half, and I layered some book page underneath it and small uh, crocheted, or excuse me, um, a doily, little small flower, and then another flower, and um, itty bitty pink paper clip. I thought that was kind of pretty. And another envelope. got pretty chunky so it's like I have to keep telling myself I don't have to do something to every single page and then this is an envelope or you have the coffee stain paper and then here's an envelope attached to it and um, this is even a little pocket behind there part of the ephemera I thought she was so pretty um, layered um, on top of some blue cheesecloth and then dream And then in here, another little tag. And another one of the layered hearts. A little tuck spot there from Jai. 
and then I went ahead and put a pretty little plastic little flower there to cover up the hole and then here is another little pocket or not pocket little I went brain dead yes it's a pocket one of Patricia's pockets and um, right there or here two little places And then here is another one of little flower box. And here is um, their little bows with little pearls sewn in. So we have, of course, the pink one, the darker, the fuchsia color, and then the light pink. And then a femme card. It's friends, friends forever. And then this is part of a page, and I covered the uh, the little chipboard with it and I have it layered and then over here is uh, another dress form that I cut out a book page and inked it with some uh, I want to say velvet rose or something like that by Tim Holtz and then um, underneath the beautiful is a um, book page and pink cheesecloth and then another spellbinder little pocket that I made with two different tags and then a little tuck spot that I made um, the back is old book page and then paper that looks like denim I thought that was kind of pretty so I layered that and of course I cut it out with Frisker scissors and then the roses here are on top of coffee stain cheesecloth and then here is one of the tags and I didn't put a lot of these tags in here because the tag is just really big compared to the size of the book but I thought that one was really pretty and figured one would be okay. And then I have it with some ribbon. And then there is pink cheesecloth and a, a blue bling stone here. And then on the back, this is um, a little, not rayon, but a little, one of the little party favor bags. And um, I decorated it with a napkin, maj podged it, um, and then I have some white lace, and then pink ribbon on top, and then I put some flat back pearls, and then we have some butterfly with a, a lace butterfly um, on top of that, and then a pink little flower, and then I have, you know, my my card with and I will write the date that I made the journal and um, my information on it and there it is um, I hope you like it um, she is going to be for sale uh, and I will put the information in the description box um, if, again if you liked the video give me a thumbs up and um, any comments or um, opinions I are greatly appreciated um, always room for for learning um, again thank you everybody for watching and have a, a blessed day